Welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Andy Letourneau. Today I'd like to show you how to upload a file to Databricks and run some queries on it. First of all, make sure that you have Databricks open and that you have a cluster up and running. Next, go to your Data tab, click on Add Data, and then go ahead and find your file and I'm just going to copy it. You'll notice when it says plus copy that it's ready to be copied. This file, by the way, I'm just going to pop it open for you in Excel, is a set of sample data, made up values of people's names with gender, birth date, social security number, and salary. Not real data, but a good, a good sample of something that you may find in your system or may wish to use for analysis. Once you've uploaded this, you can hit Create Table in UI or Create Table in the Notebook. This time I'm going to hit Create Table in Notebook. Basically what this does is it creates a new notebook automatically for you with some of the code pre-populated. This is pretty handy. Saves you some typing. First of all, it lets you know exactly where the file is. You can also see that it did successfully detect that I had a CSV and that its delimiter was commas. So let's just take a look at this data frame that it creates. You'll notice it asked me to attach my running cluster to it. Here we go. Once you've run it, you'll notice that because of the default settings of saying first row's header false, what happens is we our headers are not put there. So if we change that to true, that would be one way of fixing that. You'll also notice that it's assuming all of these columns are strings. Now part of that could be because the column headings were in here, so of course the first row is string, so that makes everything a string. But let's try infer schema so that if this does come out correct, you could then actually go on and, and do some analysis. One of the things we would probably do would be to take the birth date and parse out the years and the months to do some analysis that way. One thing that I notice is that it doesn't catch the birth date as a date time. It, catch, it calls it a string. Everything else though seems to be reasonably correct. Integer for both salary and ID. And then the others of course are still text. Social security number has to be text just because it's got the dashes in there and there's no other way to define it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another cell and I'm going to this time take pretty much the same code that they did except I'm going to add in a schema. Now I did a copy paste because that's a lot faster than you watching me type and mistype things. First thing you need to do is call on PySpark SQL types and the types that you need of course would be any of the ones that match the data types that we're going to be using. The struct type is a structure type. This is what you need for declaring a schema. And the struct field is the structure for each column. The struct field requires three items. First one's column name, second one's data type, and the third one is an indicator as to whether or not you're allowing nulls. Uh, for this example, I'm not really going to worry about setting the nulls to yes, I allow nulls, or no, I don't. I'm just going to leave it true for all of them for simplicity. As you can see, I have timestamp type for my birth date, integer type for the ID and salary, and the rest are still strings. The next section is pretty much the same as we had before, except of course infer schema is now false because we are actually declaring the schema. We're still going to use our Spark read format. It's formatted as CSV, that's our file type. And then the one item that we have added to the previous version of forming the data frame is our schema, which is to use the people schema. I hit shift enter, wait a moment, pulls back the same data, that's a good start. But this time you see that the birth date is actually the timestamp, which is what we want. So let's try doing a little bit of analysis on that. My first query that I'm going to do is I'm going to do an aggregation and this aggregation, I'm going to call it aggregated data frame, is going to take the year 
from the birth date. So that's what the first one says. And we're going to group by year. And then I want the average salary column. So take the average of the salary for every birth year that you've got and make sure that we, we call the column salary AVG rather than average and salary in parens. And then order by the birth year. So let's run that. Once you've run that, you now have essentially some useful data you could do some analysis on. Uh, when, you plot, when you hit this plot button, you do have some options for different style plots. But I hit this plot options because really what we want is salary average in the values and we want birth year along the y-axis here. So now we have the birth year on the bottom, salary average. There are other types of charts. I invite you to go uh, give a try to that to see what they look like. You might prefer a line chart. Boy, that makes 2000 look really low. And there you go. There's your analysis of how you could do it. You have a chart and you have your query through Python. The final thing you can do is you could switch to SQL if you want. First, what you might want to do is let's give the name of a temporary table. This is a table that you would use solely in this particular notebook and this particular session, and then it disappears. That's what a temp view is. So once we've created this temp view, you'll see that the default, they call it people CSV, but uh, personally, I would normally just call it people, uh, just because <laughs> calling it people CSV is silly. But here you go. I created the temp view. I then use the magic percent SQL to say switch to SQL. And now I can do select star from people. I can do any other SQL query that you can think of on this. And as you can see, we still have the plot options available. So I could create a bar chart with this and do pretty much the same analysis as I had done up here. So that is how you can upload a file, bring it into Databricks as a table, and then do some brief analysis on it, including making a lovely graph. Thank you very much. If you have any further questions, click the link below and we will send you more information. Have a good day.